Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing uh, applications of geometry with unit conversion. So we've been asked, uh, we've been told a cylindrical propane tank with hemispherical ends is 4 feet in diameter and 20 feet long. Find its volume in cubic yards and in gallons. So the first thing I want to do is draw this. I'm a visual learner and I want to see a picture. So I come over here and I say, alright, fine. We said uh, cylindrical tank with hemispherical ends. Now what that means is we've got basically a cylinder, okay, that's got a dome attached to the end, a half, and we've been told that the diameter is four feet, four feet, and that the length, the total length, is 20 feet, okay? And so what we have to do is we have to break this into what is it really, okay? What is it really? And I want you to see what I see. I see a cylinder, okay, picture a can, a soda can, and I see a half of a sphere and another half of a sphere, which in total makes an entire sphere. So I have a cylinder plus a sphere, okay, and they want the volume. So the first thing I do is go and say, okay, what is the volume of a cylinder? What is the volume of a sphere? Well, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h, and the volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so now with that information, I need to go ahead and figure out what is r and what is h. Okay, what is r and what is h? So look at this picture for a second, and, and it's very apparent to me that the diameter of the cylinder is four, and so the radius will be two. So I say, okay, this guy is going to be pi times 2 squared. Now, the height. What is the height? That's a trick. See, if for this to be a spherical end, for this to be a spherical end, it also has to have a diameter of 4, which means it also has to have a radius of 2. So from here to here would be 2 feet. And from here to here would also be 2 feet. Well, if that's 2 feet and that's 2 feet, this whole thing's 20, that means the height of the cylinder would be 16, okay? And then, of course, here, this will be 4 thirds pi times 2 cubed. Now, if we do the math, um, pi times r squared times h, pi times 2 squared times 16, I get roughly 201 for the cylinder and I get roughly 33.5 for the sphere and I add those together and I get 234.5. Now, units are so important because it's, it's not okay to just say, well, my answer is 234.5. 234.5 what? Okay, so go back. Our units are all in feet. So here I have feet squared times feet, which will give me feet cubed. And here I have feet cubed, which will give me feet cubed. So feet cubed plus feet cubed, and I get feet cubed. Okay. Now that is an answer, but unfortunately it is not the answer they asked for. They asked for this tank dimension in cubic yards and in gallons. And the reason they would ask you for that is because typically gases like propane, uh, things that are compressed gases that come out as aerosols are measured in cubic feet or cubic yards, depending on how much you sell a month. And liquids like gasoline and diesel and kerosene are, are going to be measured. Milk would be another one, just to get away from the fuel aspect of it, would be measured in gallons. So if I'm selling this container, I need to know its volume in cubic yards and in gallons, depending on who I'm selling it to. So here goes. I need to convert this unit to cubic yards and to gallons. Okay? So I'm going to start with 234.5 cubic feet. 234.5 cubic feet. And I want to convert this to uh, cubic yards. I want to convert this to cubic yards. So what I do is I say, okay, fine, there's three feet in one yard. And because it's cubic, I have to do this three times. So feet, feet, and feet cancels feet cubed. And now I have yards cubed, 
And if I multiply 234.5, if I take 234.5, divide it by 3, divide it by 3 again, divide it by 3 again, I get 8.69 cubic yards. Okay? Now for gallons, the same conversion, 234.5 feet cubed. Okay? And uh, we're going to multiply this. Now this is an easy one. Uh, one cubic foot is 7.48 gallons. And a lot of times in industry we just cheat and we use the 7.5. Um, but the actual conversion is 7.48. And so if I take this number here times 7.48, I end up with 1754.06. And we're going to round that. We're going to call that like 1750 or 1,754 gallons. Okay, we don't need any decimal places or anything like that. This would be a 1,754 gallon tank. Okay, so I hope you've learned something from this, and if you have any questions, please let me know.